All right, everybody, Baron here, and there's a new map on the beta test branch right now. Like, I didn't even see anything on this. It's called Canyon, and it's a work in progress. I was trying to play this custom map called the Battle of Ravenfields, but I can't get it to load for the life of me. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll go play a regular map. And look at this, Canyon. All right, so I have no idea about this map. It looks like... There might be a plane. No, that this is where the helicopters launch. It looks like there's an aircraft carrier and here's a dam, a hydroelectric dam that almost looks like the big one out like near Vegas, right? Which I believe is the Three Gorges Dam cuz China is in Las Vegas. And uh there's an aircraft carrier that oh, let's just let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are on Look at this baby. This is the uh I think it's like the T99 Scorpion. Oh my god, it's definitely had some updates since we played with it last. Alright, boys. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, there's this big camouflage netting. Oh my god, everyone's spawning over there. They're parachuting off the carrier. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. They already took off my engine? Oh my god. They shot my engine off, but look at this. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wait, so this is an official map and it's work in progress, right? So that means... Hold on, let's see if I can't... I've got this A-10 here. Not an A-10 Warthog. Oh, we got a miss. I want to knock off his rotor. Oh, that's a hit. He lost his rotor. So this is the beauty. Oh my god, he just got demolished in the air. Alright, we're going to attempt this once again. So, Canyon work in progress map. It's an official one. Makes me wonder if these maps will play into the uh, campaign at all, or what? They captured neat net. Oh shoot, that's this one. Let's see if we can't- Oh come on! Oh my god, I tried to get out and the thing fell on me and knocked me out. This is a really bad start. Alright, my mission should I choose to accept it, and I do. Wait till you see some of the other vehicles we've got. So, I'm using the AR-15 pack by Vectrix. Um, we're on the official map by like... Official. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I don't think these vehicles are gonna do very well. They don't have the durability of a main helicopter. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that honestly felt like friendly fire. I don't know. We're gonna get in here. We're gonna take this, man. So this is the camo net. This is an official map. Like, it's so crazy. There's a lot of new maps coming out. Like, we got Kane, and then we got, like, the rocky one. Oh, God. That sounds like a tank to me. I hear it coming. No! 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 Alright. Do we have tanks coming there? We do have tanks coming there. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, if we don't, I'm going to be real, real mad about it. And they captured the net anyway. Oh, look! Hey, guys! Welcome to Ravenfield! Alright! Third time's the charm. I am going to take these if it's the last thing I do. But this time, I'm gonna take the tank. So one thing, I think they might wanna fix that. It's a little rough. All right, so coming down this way, the little canyon pass, it reminds me of Tatooine. So here's something. If someone doesn't make a Jawa sand crawler, or like, like AT-ATs, ATSDs, man, I guess there's kind of ATSDs, but not really. All right, we gotta get here before the reds do. Wow, how do I squeeze through that? I guess we did. We're gonna slug this out. Wait a minute. There we go. But they've taken the flag? Come on. Well, it's work in progress, so that means the... Oh. All right, so we have... Oh, we could get this one, I guess. Here, I'm gonna try to take that flag over there. That'll be my mission now. So we can get the fourth flag and have the advantage over those dastardly ravens. Uh, look at how big those armies are. Oh man, I'm gonna get hit soon. Yep, and there goes my engine. I wonder if I can get on the net. Oh, we barely missed it. This is not looking good. So, work in progress, definitely. This thing's pretty sweet though. Come on, boys. We need to take this flag. Ow! Guy shot me! We're not taking the flag down because there's too many people in the vicinity. Oh man, the scope on this thing's pretty intense. Alright, so here are the AR-15 pack weapons. I decided to restart. I'm gonna go with... This one looks real, real nice. This is some special forces, the Mark 18 CQBR. 
Close quarters battle rifle, I'm assuming, maybe? All right, so these three in the middle, they've got this one point back there. I'm not sure why. That might be where their tanks come from. I guess that would make sense, right? So this time, we're going to go default. As cool as that vehicle is, the damage model, <laughs> it's just like one bazooka, and it auto they always seem to just target your rotors. And once you lose a rotor, it's over. Incoming! Ooh, we dropped some chaff there. You know what? Oh, come on. There we go. Drop the parachute. Do we go through it? Oh, we don't go through it. Yikes. This is scary. But I can take the flag from up here. <laughs> Except I'm getting, like, attacked via mortar fire. Alright, we're here. I'm gonna try to take the zone. We've got, in it. We got friendly tanks incoming. That means... Based off experience, the red tank is probably close. I think I hear it. I think I hear it. Oh, God. What, 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 what? What are you guys doing? Get in here. Get in here. Defend the circle. What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The AI. We could have taken this point, and now we're not? Oh, my God. That's why. All right, let's smoke these fools, then. If that's what it's going to take to win... What? I got killed by a friendly tank! Alright, but the good news is good. The good news is good. Let's check it out. We've got four points. I'm gonna spawn here and see if I can't get over there. I gotta get out of this armor. We've got some new vehicles to show off. Oh, this may be tricky. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to find a way around it, which it doesn't look like there is one. So we're gonna have to go through the main area. Wait, these guys are running this way? <gasps> There's a cave! Okay, good, we found a secret path. So we're gonna head over here. This is gonna be a real, real tough CQB area. This area makes it very difficult for vehicles to get through. There's a little bit of water there. Checking the map to see kind of where I am. Oh God. We've gotta take that flag before Red gets there. It's gonna be very challenging. Oh my god! Something just missed us. What is that? This is bad. What the heck? They spawned on us, man. They took the flag. This is bad. I'm down. I'm down. We- it, if we were faster. So, battle plan, we gotta protect. Let's target everybody on that one, I guess. So, this is pretty cool. The battle for the dam, the aircraft carrier over there looks awesome. I like the map. I'm thinking that while the maps are good, I think to make the maps better, there needs to be- look at this guy trying to snipe me. This cute little- he's like, hey Baron, how you doing? Better than you are. Direct hit. And by direct, I mean not so much. But so this is- hey, 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 hey boys. That's my helicopter. We're gonna go survey the battlefield. We're gonna make a run on the enemy carrier. Get in the chopper! <laughs> yeah, that net definitely does protect them. Oh, we got downed! Oh, I'm gonna get shot in the air, aren't I? Yeah, I am. I think there needs to be an update to the AI. That would be the single biggest thing to Ravenfield right now. Or that conquest mode. Because when you go to Ravenfield, this conquest coming soon. We've seen coming soon for over a year. All right, this time, wait till you see this vehicle I've got. A Magpul AR-15? That sounds pretty cool, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. Now, unfortunately, Early Access 10, from what I understand, broke these things, broke mechs, and the AI won't use them, but look at this thing. This is one of the coolest vehicles I think I've ever seen. It's like a Sherman mech. All right, let's see if they get in it. So I think they can get in, but I don't think they- it doesn't work for them, right? Yeah, they're, they, they're not able to march with it, but you know what that means, right? That means I can get into it. Ah, 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 ah. I will be invincible. Alright, so I'm gonna get in this guy. I'm gonna get one AI to follow me. You, sir. Alright, we've got a gunner. Dude, this is- It- there's no sound effects yet. But, so, this is the, um... Scatter Fox by Slippy Note. But look at this thing, man. All right, so what kind of guns we got? We got the main cannon with two different versions. We've got an armor piercing round and an HE round, I assume. We've got... I've got a machine gun. 
And then I've got the Katusha rockets. Oh my gosh. Now it's gonna take a little while for us to get there. But when we get there, oh when we get there, we're going to absolutely wreck our enemies. Alright, Katusha launch! <laughs> We've got 60 rockets. Look at that, we only fired 10 right there. Oh god, incoming anti-armor rounds. This can definitely lay- it's not the most accurate, which is good. Because that's how the rocket packs are supposed to be. Alright, we're finally getting some kills here. Alright, reload the rocket rack. We've captured the net, so I'm gonna come this way. Oh, these poor fools. A fully traversable rocket rack? Look at this! Oh my gosh! Incoming any armor rounds. <laughs> oh, we're going down now. Goodbye, Mechasaurus Rex. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be cool if there was like a T-Rex mech? We need something like that. Look at this baby. So we went to a new map so I could use the transport helicopter. This is a different version. Alright, so this, my friends, is the UH-98 Nomad by Eraser. Now, I've also got an RPG that was made by Joshi. Look at everybody just filling in. Alright, so from what I understand, we've got one pilot, one gunner, 12 passengers. Oh god! Oh no! Oh my god, that could have been bad. I did not see the radar dish. So let's see, I've got 16 rockets available, and 300 rounds of machine gun fire. Oh, that's a minigun, baby. Here we go. Yeah, what's up now, huh? Alright, so what I want to do is parachute. Okay, you've got parachutes. I've got parachutes. So what we're gonna do is slow motion this. And we're gonna drop... Right about... Now. Everybody out! <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing is sweet, huh? Okay, best of luck, boys. Alright, oh, 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 oh! Fine. I parachuted, but they're all targeting me. RPG! <laughs> Look at that, baby! <laughs> oh man, all the parachutes, the paracommandos are taken out. We're doing our best, though, right now. Oh yeah, this thing's dirty. These HE rounds, HE, acronym for high explosives, these babies are doing good. Uh, we are sending Russian Spitznaz forces in armed with RPG and uh, American assault rifle. I don't know, it's... It. Alright, so let's check the map. What's going on? What's going on? Let's spawn back here, see if we can't get the Nomad again. Alright, all aboard. So this time I've only got three passengers. We're not gonna take too much time. I still want... Ooh, yeah, we gotta be careful about that dish, right? I would love for a vehicle to be able to, like, pull trailers and then drop them, and alternatively, helicopters that could carry things, or a plane that could parachute out a jeep. Airborne operations, baby. That's what I want. Oh man, that bombing run was pretty good. Alright, let's drop them. Best of luck. You guys are totally gonna get torched, but hey man, I'm just the pilot. We're just following orders here. Little bit of an airstrike. Good, we got- we got a few there. Oh yeah, here's the oasis, remember? This is where the Hydra was located. I was actually thinking about that the other day, I was like, what's that multi-headed, like, dragon called? Did this guy parachute out? Was that my gunner that just parachuted out? I think so. Oh! We've- we're taking hits. Requesting close air support. We need to get out of here! The chopper's destroyed! Oh no! Beer! 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 <laughs> Alright, let's let's go. We'll go with the main force. Ow, ow. Oh, dude, it's coming out my kidneys. The red jelly jam. Oh my god. That guy, that guy was he's had as a dude standing on his missile. And he was able to do that. Now we're on still the best map ever. Archipelago. Whoa, 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 this is mine. All aboard! Pew, pew, pew. Look at those miniguns. Hold on. I think we should be able to... Yeah, we do. Okay. So we're gonna take off. We're gonna use the UH-98 Nomad by Razor here. I've got the RPG by Joshi. The AR-15 pack by Vextric. 
And I'm thinking I'm gonna go para drop my guys over the reef out here. I'm gonna try for a Blitzkrieg, right? I sent the orders to take those three nearest points. It is possible that it could work. Oh shoot, we need to move faster. We're going a little too slow and I'm gonna switch to rockets. We've got two Zodiacs full of troops coming here. Come on, boys! Take this flag! A bombing run just went by. Was it allied? It was allied bombing run. That was perfect. See, that's the kind of stuff I want to see. Hey, where are you guys going? Take this point. Actually, if this is working... Alright, everybody's gonna get back in. <laughs> so, we just took this. Now, where have they taken? Which one? Oh, they took the one they usually take. Alright, we're gonna try to go for the harbor. I think we're gonna need reinforcements. There's an enemy battleship coming in. So maybe we go to try to take that out. This is- this is dangerous because we've got a full ship here. Or rather a full- wait, wait, it looks like... Come on, don't get hit by any rockets. Oh my god, that was close. Oh no! Everybody out! Oh, everybody's- I think everybody got destroyed. Oh no! Are any survivors? No! Wow. All hands lost. Special forces missing. We, we lost para-commandos there, man. That's some elite troops. Ooh, <laughs> incoming helicopters getting wrecked. Come on, boys. Everybody on. Everybody on. They need to be faster. There they are. Alright, we've only got- we don't have a full crew. It's hard, man. It's hard to replace elite soldiers. That'd be another thing. What if you could have classes of soldiers for Ravenfield? Like, the AI, like, maybe they were armed a little bit different. Maybe they had some armor. Alright, we're going in, though, baby. You know we are. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Whoa! Oh, no. Everybody out. Everybody out. I'm going down with this, baby. Oh, now those guys are in the water. <laughs> but at least they have a chance to survive. They're gonna swim. Go, boys, go! Escape! Alright, there she is. The scatter fox. I really wish it had sound effects for, like, that made it feel like you were walking in it with a mech. Alright, we're gonna attack. Heads up, boys. This is gonna be a very, very long crawl. Now, this tank looks like a World War II Sherman turret and kind of a chassis, and then it's got these mechanical legs. I remember seeing a concept for this thing. It was- it's definitely fan-made. Like, it was never... official government design. U.S. government. Look at that Zodiac boat, man. Oh, I'm so happy that those guys are taking off. Oh, they're about to get ambushed by a frigate right there. Um... But it made me think, like, wouldn't it be cool if you had this kind of like... Say you had an alternative history storyline where, like, the Germans, the Nazis, have, uh, taken... Like, they, they landed on the moon or something, and then, like, after the Allied powers finally defeated them in the year, like, 1953, right? All of a sudden, they're like, they're like, oh, they went to Antarctica, and they chased them out of Antarctica, and that's like, they're on the moon, and we gotta get them out. But I do love how I can, like, traverse real easy like that. Ooh, that's a nice round. I like the way that fires. Very direct. Um... The, the Allied powers, the Americans, would have to have, like, a Space Force, right? <laughs> Which is very Trump. Um, and then they would have mechs, because you'd want mech walkers, probably, due to the low gravity, walkers would be perfect in space. Especially on the moon. They, they could navigate maybe better than, like, a tracked vehicle could, right? I think that'd be sweet. Alright, boys, we're making the assault over the bridge. What? We lost the reef? Hello! That thing literally went right under us. That's awesome. Deep, 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 deep. Sorry, Revo. Yeah, so it's still a little bit borky. Alright, y'all asked for it. Cut you, shell rocket barrage! Look at that, that's only half of our. Oh my gosh, man, this is. It's so inaccurate, but it doesn't really need to be super accurate. Red team's victorious due to that scoring spree right there. What? We are taken out! Boom! Mech walker down, I repeat. Mech walker down. All aboard, all aboard! This is a one-way flight. Only the bravest, brightest, and strongest probably shouldn't enter because if we lose you, that's a definite loss of military resources. So we've got the gunner. We got one extra seat. That guy's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna go on there. You guys aren't coming back. So, oh what? Enemy Zodiac boat. 
Amphibious landing. Dude, I just want a wave defense mode for amphibious landings. I want that as a game. That could literally be a standalone game. Oh my gosh, that actually reminds me of this really bad old PC game where, like, you literally just manned a machine gun and the enemies would just land, right? Like, you had, like, I don't, I don't know. I just remember the, the, it was like when you'd go to, like, physical stores. This is old school, man. And you'd buy, like, those old CD-ROMs and it, they were, like, ten bucks. Even back then, you knew. Let's see how good those accurate rockets are. We're reloading. Alright, we gotta, we gotta, we'll do low altitude. What I'm gonna try to do is land on the carrier deck with this thing. Without getting rocketed. I'm not getting flacked right now, which is pretty good. Alright, special forces operation. Oh, incoming! Oh, missed it. Ooh, oh! Everybody out! Did they survive? Oh my god. Not again. Not again! Alright guys, well thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. We showed off the UH-98 Nomad by Eraser. That amazing thing that I flew terribly those last two times. The Scatterfox Mechanical Tank by Josh- or by Slippy Note, the RPG-7 by Joshi, and the AR-15 pack by Vextrix. And this is- this is still the best map in Ravenfield. We also got to see the new map. Here we go. So we've got two work in progress. Mountain range, I think it's okay. Canyon, I think it's okay. This is a really cool one, like, atmospherically, right? It's almost like Fallout. It makes me think of Fallout. You've got the sunken carrier. Actually, that makes me think. Would you guys want to see a Fallout mod showcase? for Ravenfield, because there actually are a lot of options. Another thing that would be cool is we need the option to change the skins. Like, when I play uh, Paint the Town Red, you can add skins. And certain custom maps, there's skins for um, the units, right? You can have, like, Turkish, soldiers, stormtroopers, all kinds of stuff I've seen, like more modern looking soldiers. We need that, so you could have, this would be a perfect Fallout map, all right? So anyway guys, thanks for watching another episode and I will see you in the next one.